I've been making gaming videos for 5 years, that's half a decade of Minecraft and Roblox and nothing else, yeah it's just a big nothing burger. I mean it was fun, it's still pretty fun, but I really just want to expand onto greater pastures. I want to make the switch from one type of content to another, something that more accurately reflects who I am in real life, the topics I'm truly interested in, and gaming isn't really something I take part in much. I have greater interests, now why am I suddenly changing up my content? And to answer your question, I don't fucking know. No one was holding a gun to my head saying, make gaming videos, Cax Carrot. But I felt some obligation to do it. It's not really based on the fan base either. It's solely based on my own backwards thinking. I mean, once you've been making gaming videos for five years, it's kind of hard to go to something different. For the longest time, gaming videos was pretty much the only thing I could really make. The only thing I really knew how to make. But I'm gonna challenge myself to innovate and create. That came out really badly. I want to motivate myself to be creative, think outside of the box, and of course put more effort to my content because currently my videos take about 2 hours to make at max. I feel like I'm ready for the challenge. I have to leave stage 1. Gaming was just stage 1 of my channel. Now I'm moving on to stage 2. But I still do have an interest in gaming. So what's going to happen to my gaming content? If it's not going to go on Cactus Carrot, which channel are you going to outsource it to? I'm going to outsource it to Rodings, the channel I've had for almost two years and done nothing with. Yeah, that's where the gaming content's going to go. Just like Cactus Cure, I'll still post whenever I want to post, so don't expect frequent uploads on that channel. In fact, the Cactus Cure upload schedule will get slower as videos take longer to edit and stuff, especially when school gets involved. Who cares about quantity when your content's evergreen? Yeah, that's one of my goals too, to make good content evergreen. It means it lasts forever or something like that. The reason why I'm outsourcing the gaming content to Rodings, you know, I actually don't have an answer for that one. I guess it's just my brain likes to organize things, and I guess that's the way for it to organize it somewhat. It doesn't really make sense, considering that gaming is somewhat of an interest, but yeah, shut up about it. And what's gonna happen to the existing gameplay videos on this channel? Yeah, they're gonna stay up. I'm not gonna be messing with the unlisted videos playlist again. I'm done with that. That took me like three hours to untangle. And plus, we got to preserve history. I said in the community post that it would be a gradual change over the course of July. I'm going to start making the content I want to make immediately, so forget about that. I'll have the first video out in about a week, and for Rodings, the first gameplay video is probably coming out in like two days, maybe one day after this video. Maybe the day of, I don't know. But with that being said, it's on to greener pastures or to shadier pastures while I kill off my channel, which is already pretty much dead, but yeah, I'm going to be killing off my channel completely. Okay, bye.